What is up guys, DZ here, and today I want to show you yet another Subterra combo. Um, this one, I, I picked this one out because it shows a completely new set of cards besides Hidden City. That's the only duplicate we have, um, but obviously these aren't Terra Top or Tefnuit. Um, so totally different thing, you can play this in a different version of the deck if you want to, or you can try to fit them all in one deck. Um, this combo is cool because you can uh, do it going first, it doesn't require you to go second, it doesn't require your opponent to have anything. Um, and uh, even though only it takes one more card to do, you actually end with a you still end with a plus four. You end with eight cards, um, but you end with a lot more disruption, and you end with a lot more pluses on your following turn. Um, it's kind of long, but I think I have it memorized now. Um, so I'll just kind of get right into it. So first, you're going to activate your Brilliant Fusion. Uh, good old Brilliant Fusion, making combos like these possible. Um, we're going to send Garnet and Trick Clown to the graveyard. Um, for the Seraph Knight. Um, from there, Trick Clown's gonna special summon itself, so you're gonna take a thousand damage, it's whatever. And then we're gonna summon the Spirit of the Wind. Uh, so this card is basically just a Stratos for Flip Effect Monsters. Um, we're actually gonna add, um, I guess you could add either Subterra at this point, but I just wanna grab the level 7, because it gives us more options that you'll see in a second. Um, so at this point, this is your hand, you have these three cards. This is your field, that's your grave. I know I don't have a ton of room here, um, but we'll we'll work with it. Um, then you're going to activate Hidden City to add uh, Nemesis Warrior to your hand. Using your Extra Normal Summon from Seraph Knight, you're going to summon this dude. Um, from here, you can do uh, Nemesis' effect. Uh, so you're going to actually lose three monsters to do this. Um, but you're going to get rid of Seraph Knight, Spirit, and um, itself to... Well, I guess you're going to send the... Uh, Stalagmo, and then get rid of these. And that's going to special summon Stalagmo and face down defense mission. From there, you're going to activate Hidden City's effect to flip the Stalagmo up. Uh, Stalagmo is going to activate, Nemesis is going to activate. So you're going to discard the Umas Umastrix, or whatever his name is, um, to draw two cards. I guess I'll just sort of, once again, put two face down cards so you know how many cards are drawing. Um, and that's going to special summon this guy. So now you have this field. Um, from here, you're going to go into uh, Digusto Emerald. Emerald. Um, there's not really a wrong thing to shuffle back here, but uh, mainly you're going to detach the Nemesis and then leave both of the Subterra cards in your graveyard. So you're going to shuffle back Garnet, Spirit, and Seraph Knight. Um, just because they're not really useful in the graveyard, this is going to give you more searching, and it's going to give you another use out of Brilliant Fusion, which is pretty cool. Um, so you do that, you'll get another draw from that effect. And then lastly, you're going to activate Pre-Preparation. Um, Pre-Prep is going to get you uh, Prediction Ritual and Prediction Princess Territory. Um, from there, you're going to activate the Prediction Ritual, um, tributing your Stalagmo to get this guy on the field. Um, so at this point, you now have uh, seven cards. Um, when you enter your end phase, you have a couple options here. If you already had another sub terror in your hand, you can definitely go for uh, um, Stalagmo using Territory's effect. During your next turn, you can then, or during your opponent's turn, you can then flip this face up, um, draw another two cards, and then you'll special summon the Nemesis from your graveyard, so I can see some advantage. Um, if you don't have a sub terror, the better play is probably just going for this guy, because he gives you some disruption. So then on your opponent's turn, you can flip him face up with his effect, um, banish an opponent's monster, and special summon the Nemesis from your graveyard. Uh, so that's pretty useful. And then... During your next turn, you actually have the Prediction Princess Ritual to get you another territory. So if you have like a Manju, or if you have like another Prediction Princess Ritual, you can then summon a second one um, if this one happens to die or whatever. But uh, yeah, this combo, uh, like I said, it, it sets you up for a lot more um, in terms of disruption. And you can use it first turn, but it does require Brilliant Fusion. But I just think it's cool that you can do so much with sub terrors. A lot of their effects, uh, especially some of the things from the deck, or get you draws. So you can just really bury your opponent in card advantage. I probably said that in the last video too. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this combo as well, and I will see you guys later. Bye.